What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and the first video of 2016. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I hope you had a fantastic time with your friends and family and however you chose to spend the last couple of weeks. Today, I want to go for a drive in the Lamborghini, but I'm not going anywhere in particular. This is a rare opportunity for me to jump in the car, go for a drive with no end destination. And whilst I'm driving and warming the car up and just putting it through its paces in 2016, I want to chat to you guys about what I want to try and achieve in 2016 on the Supercars of London YouTube channel. So basically what you should expect to see video wise, content wise, car wise and all sorts. I want to kick things off with a brand new haircut. So with that being said, let's jump in the car because it is a lovely windy and rainy day as always in the UK and let's go for a drive, start this beast up and have some fun. So for those that may have missed some of my videos over the Christmas and New Year period, you may have noticed that I have a carbon fibre spoiler by DMC. So DMC are a carbon fibre aftermarket interior and exterior tuning company and they have provided me with a fantastic super leggera style wing for the Lamborghini. After this video, so this video is going live at 5 p.m., at 6 p.m., the Car Spotting Tribe on Six Tribes app, which um, I've been on before and I've done a QA, and I'm gonna be back on there doing another Q&A talking about 2016. Lots more to discuss than is in this video, so make sure that you head over, download the app if you haven't already. It's available on the App Store, not on the Android just yet, but it is getting there. And I'm gonna be doing a Q&A and just having a chat with all of you guys about Car staff 2016, what is going to be happening? Are we secure? I think we are. So let's put it into first gear, get the windscreen wipers on, turn the valves on. And this car has got such a low tone to it when we're in the low revs. When we're in the high revs, it goes incredibly high pitched, as the famous Army Tricks exhaust systems do. And I've begun to enjoy this car very much in sport mode, so I usually tend to keep it in sport mode. You get that just a little bit faster gear changes, and it just feels a little bit more alive than if you keep it in the normal basic mode that it starts up in. So I suppose let's kick things off with just talking a little bit about the last two weeks, the videos that are on the Supercars of London YouTube channel, Draw My 2015, did you guys enjoy that video? And um, also the top 10 supercars that I saw in 2015 and also the top five best moments on the Supercars of London YouTube channel. They were a lot of fun to make and also look back on and obviously voice over. So I hope you enjoyed those videos and um, I hope you enjoyed the last two weeks as well, just chilling out and doing whatever you did. Comment below on what you got up to over the Christmas and New Year period. With that being said, let's move on to 2016. What to expect on the Supercars of London YouTube channel and what do I intend on doing to be able to achieve delivering all of my aims, ambitions and goals to all of you guys because that is the most important thing on the Supercast London YouTube channel. Making sure that I'm making videos about cars, about whatever I get up to, about travelling, road trips, challenges, collaborations, all of that stuff. Making sure that the videos are the best that they can possibly be for you guys to enjoy. So let's kick things off with probably something that's going to happen very soon. In less than 17 days, I'm going to be turning 25. The big two five, the number that I had set, the age that I had set for me to achieve the Lamborghini dream. We're going back to me turning 25. I turned 25 on the 19th of January, and this is a big deal in the car world. I've forever been told since I was 17 that car insurance gets a lot cheaper when you turn 25. And for some reason, there's an unwritten rule that as soon as you turn 25, you are a sensible, good, and experienced driver, which I suppose is kind of the case because I'd have been driving for seven years, kind of experienced most things that you might experience on the road. I'm really hoping to have really, really good access to some amazing cars. So the exciting thing for me, having my birthday so close to the beginning of each year, is now that I'm gonna be turning 25, so close to the beginning of 2016, is that I've got all of this year to hopefully drive some amazing cars and develop and gain experience behind the wheel of certain cars. 
and develop my car review skills. So I want to start doing more car reviews on the Supercars of London YouTube channel, making them fun, making them enjoyable, and making sure that there's all of the important statistics, but giving my impressions and opinions and emotions on the car that I'm driving. And I know that I have been lucky enough to drive some pretty cool cars in the last year, but I'm hoping that now that the insurance is gonna be a lot easier for companies, that um, I'm gonna be able to get better at driving, get more experience at driving, become a better driver, and become a better car reviewer. Let's get the window down. I think I can get bored of this car. Ask, how do you make better videos, better car videos for YouTube? So currently I use my Sony Handycam, which I'm currently using right now, on a sub Handycam with it till 1 o'clock, and I'm going to kick off on a Friday after the clock is is oh, yeah. But has a very good video quality to it with the soft focus, so everything else is blurred in the background. It looks really fancy. So I use those two cameras. I also use my iPhone 6S for photos on Instagram. But what can I do? to get better videos. Now, one thing that I really tried to pursue at the end of last year was more than one camera angle when it comes to making videos about certain cars or even if it's daily vlogs, whatever it is, I really want to start exploring better camera equipment, more camera equipment, so that I can start putting together mini films. Now, I don't want to be the next Hollywood film producer. I don't want to be a director of a big Hollywood movie. I just want to make my videos slick, I want to make them cool, I want to make them high quality, and the way that you do that is just upgrade your camera equipment. I'm also going to upgrade my laptop and get better editing software, so the whole video package is going to come together really nicely. We're going to have some really cool cameras, very cool camera equipment, and also be able to edit it up very nicely to create a really nice package when it goes onto YouTube and onto the Supercars London YouTube channel. So if you've got any suggestions on cameras, camera equipment, and laptops, then put a comment in the comment box below. I'm gonna be checking them all out and making sure that I get the best package of cameras and laptop possible. So we've talked about me turning 25, hopefully having access to some amazing cars. We've also talked about upgrading camera equipment, upgrading equipment in general to make Supercars of London that bit slicker and bring it into 2016. But what do I have planned for 2016? What do you guys want to see in 2016? I tweeted and Instagrammed on my handle, if you're not following already, at WallacePJW. What would you like to see in 2016? And of course, the main things that came up were challenges, road trips, supercars, and collaborations. Four massively important things uh, to think about in 2016. But how am I gonna go about doing that? What road trips are we gonna have? Of course, we're gonna have Top Marks in April, which is driving down to Monaco, and there's gonna be a lot of fun. And me and Sam from Seen Through Glass planning a little bit of a road trip after Top Marks, so that's something to look out for. I'm also planning a trip to drive down to the Alps, which is gonna be really exciting. I'm also hopefully gonna be working with some fantastic companies to drive some of the new cars of 2016 across Europe, maybe even America, who knows? But one thing that I do know is for certain is Modball 2016, the European Modball is happening. London to Paris to Lyon to Monaco for two nights to Barcelona and end up in Valencia. That is going to be amazing. There is going to be so many cool cars. I know Yanni's doing it and I know a few other people that are going to be doing it in some really, really cool supercars. So I'm thoroughly excited about doing Modball 2016. Whether I do it in the Lamborghini or not, I have no idea because 2016 is still up in the air as to what car I'm going to be changing to. So yes, that is probably right within 2016 sometime the Lamborghini is going to be changed for a new supercar. I don't know what it is yet and there are still so many talks and trolling going on. Sam I'm looking at you and Tim and Seb 
there's Aston Martins getting thrown about. There's Aventadors being thrown about, which are way out of my budget. <laughs> and all sorts of pretty cool cars, actually. So it is going to be a really exciting time in 2016. I'm very, very excited for what's to come. The road trips. I'm hoping to do some more collaborations with people outside of the automotive sector. So whether that be people from gaming, whether that be people from the beauty or the lifestyle or the traveling side of things, I really want to start branching out getting some really fun and interesting people in the passenger seat on my supercar, taking them out for a drive, scaring the hell out of them, but also getting to know them and just doing the collaborative stuff and just having fun on YouTube and bringing the community together. No, the fuel light. <laughs> So with my fuel light telling me that I need to refuel this beast, I suppose I have finally got an end destination for today's video. But I just want to say a huge thank you for watching and supporting. As always, it has been a lot of fun to have a bit of a heart-to-heart, -heart, a one-to-one -one with you guys about 2015, but also what is going to be happening in 2016. It is going to be our year. I'm motivated and excited to go on so many adventures, journeys and experiences, and I'm so grateful and thankful that I get to share everything that I get up to with you guys so make sure that you are following Supercars of London Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Wallace PJW, Twitter and Instagram. I was going to say Facebook but I don't have Facebook so I'd just like to say thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and hit that red square subscribe button if you haven't already. I look forward to seeing you very very soon. I've got some fun meetings lined up and this is going to be a lot of fun and I'm about to go and get fuel so I will see you guys later. Cheers guys! R8, I've had the back box replaced from the stock to the titanium cross pipe as, uh, as Army Tricks do for these cars. But what I've also had done is the Army Tricks headers and pipes to the back box. So I've got the full Army Tricks system from here all the way into the underneath of the engine. And as you saw, it was a massive, massive job. SB Race Engineering had to take the engine out just to put the headers back onto the car. So it was a huge job. It took two days and the